So let's talk about this Infinity War Doctor Strange Mayfax figure. I was excited to get this figure. Look on the packaging. Here's the back. You see the product shots of the figure. Now, my biggest thing with this figure is the cape looks nothing like these pictures. We're going to get to that. It looks nothing like these pictures. The front of the box, the figure's not in it because I took the figure out. I had to mess with it so I could just talk about it, you know? More product shots on the front. Y'all know I love these Mayfax boxes. You got your dual product shots on the sides, legalese on the bottom. But let's get into the packaging. Here's everything out of the box, all the accessories the figure comes with. I do like the accessories, though. I do like what he came with. All of the magic, the sword. I don't think he used a sword that long either. And I, th I believe these are the bonds of Sidorak. Uh, he didn't use that. Well, he used these more than he used this. And then here's the time stone stuff. I like this because one thing I like about this figure is it represents, like I said, Doctor Strange from each one of his movies besides Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness has a different suit, but you can use this from his first movie all the way to Endgame. So it can fit anywhere in your collection. The thing I really like is how many hands you get, which is a given because he's a magic user. So he would have, you know, magic hands, sword holding hands, more magic hands and stuff like that. And then one of these, these are the same, but one of these has a peg hole for the magic. For the, I believe it's just for these. Oh, and this one right here, this big one over here. The bonds of Sidorak just wrap around the hand, so you don't need a hand for that. I dropped a magic ring. And you got these little magic rings too. Those are pretty, these are pretty fire. I mean, don't lose them though, because they, they'll be gone. I do like all of these accessories. I like this. I just wanted him to have more magic. I don't know. He does do a lot of magic in the movies, but most of it's most of it is mostly the same. So I mean I see why they didn't. There's an extra head in there too. Extra head. And then he comes with all of this stuff to swap off. Because you can take the cape off and then and take the Ayabagamoto off and make him look like before he got it. So my biggest gripe with this figure, I don't know if you could tell or not, but it's nothing like the package, nothing like the promo picks. This cape is too thick and i get what they were going for what they're trying to do but the cape is just extremely too thick it looks like a snuggie the collar is really thick i don't know why i don't know why they did this to this figure they should have literally kept this in production and just i would have waited another four or five months just to get the cape a little better i do like the wire though like it will sit up it'll open up and everything i do like the design on the cape it looks just like the movie inside design is pretty sick too i just do not like how thick it is i keep calling it a cape it's a cloak it's a cloak of levitation but the collar is that it's just not it's not really meshing with me i don't like that compared to the product images compare that cape to this and it doesn't even it doesn't even like fold down the same like you compare it you can't even get this to lay flat and if you do that won't lay flat see it just pops back up but it looks nothing like the, the promo images. Look at the collar compared. Let me get it. There it is. Look at the collar compared. The collar compared is just, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like how that's not what we got. I call him Dr. Strange with his Snuggie of Levitation is what I'm calling him. Because that is just terrible. But I do like the articulation on this. It doesn't need much. I believe everything is single jointed, which is fine for him. He's not like a, a martial artist or anything. So I think it's a really good figure, though. Even with the shortfalls of that, I think it's a solid figure. I've heard these clips are fragile. I haven't popped mine out yet, so I don't know. Kind of don't want to now. I do want to swap this cape, though. I'm hoping someone makes one. I know some people make them, but they don't have the, the patterns and stuff on the inside and outside. But... I think a lot of them have these edges, but not the patterns. That's unfortunate. That cape is unfortunate. And getting those hands, which, like I said, it looks good like that. It looks good all posed up. I just don't. I think it should have been like a, imagine a big-ass magic effect. Imagine, I don't know, something else. It does look good, though. Good-looking figure articulation is there's the head. Head moves up. My bad. Head moves around. There's a neck move on this. Yeah, the neck moves as well, so you get a lot of, a lot of down, a lot of up. Does will swivel all the way. Pretty much all the way around. Let me see. Yeah, it'll go all the way around. So you get a whole lot of tilt in there. The shoulders are pretty good, actually. They go up pretty high. Way higher than Iron Man. Shoulders go up, around. I'm pretty sure they'll do a 360, but the cape's in the way. There's no bicep swivel. You do have like a hidden swivel like SH Figure Arts does. Single jointed elbow gets about that much. The wrist is on a ball peg, so you will get up and down and left and right motions. And you also get a swivel at the elbow, so there's that. 
The waist is all right. It crunches forward pretty good. I do like that this is on a wire, not just a string or something. It's, it's like on a wire, so it'll it'll float with him. I do like that. Waist is pretty good going forward. Not too good back, but you do get 360 on, this, on there, and you get pretty much whatever you want. These are soft rubber, so they get out of the way. You can pretty much get the leg kind of all the way up. Single jointed knee. The ankles on this are really good. These are some of the best ankles I've seen on a Mayfax figure. So solid figure besides those shortfalls with the cape. Uh, everything else is pretty good. Uh, the cape is just, it's not enough to make me hate the figure, but it's enough to make me want a new cape. Is mine peeling? Yes, yeah, see, look, and, and mine's peeling too. So I just find out on screen, but I can fix that. That's nothing. I got some fabric glue and I could glue that down myself. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you got this figure. I do like it. I know you might get the impression from this review that I don't like it, but I actually do really like this figure. It's just the cape is the worst. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Did you get this? Do you like the Marvel Legends one better? What's your preference? I know SHF has one. So let me know in the comments below, and I'm out.